Hello, BookTube, and welcome back to Summer of Sport, a BookTube event created by the long-lost Mark at Book Time with Others. May he return to us someday. Uh, designed to read sports writing all summer long. Uh, and I am doing that. I am uh, enthusiastically participating. I've been having a really fun reading experience doing Summer of Sport, which I admit, I give short shrift to, same as anybody. Uh, and I, so I thought I would do another summer, another booktube event video in what I'm increasingly realizing as I make these videos is booktube palooza today. I'm just doing all the booktube events today. Uh, so I, I read uh, a, a nothing little book, a cute little book, uh, last time, the greatest of all time, about a speed skater going to the Olympics, an arrogant speed skater going to the Olympics, uh, who falls in love with a man, falls in love with another man for the first time in his life. Uh, and it, it was enjoyable. I think, in retrospect, that I gave it short shrift uh, in yesterday's video. I should probably have said uh, that I enjoyed it a little bit more than I did. I, I, I should have said that more about how I enjoyed it, because I did enjoy it. Uh, but I was assuming, I was hoping, a part of me was hoping, that the algorithm, which I'm basically following, like a small lamb follows the human that has weaned it, uh, would suggest a nonfiction book on speed skating. I was kind of hoping that that would be the thing, the direction that it would take, realizing that I read The Greatest of All Time. Uh, because you, your reading device knows what you're reading, and it, it is reporting that information, whether you disable those toggles or not. That is another element, another con for e-reading that I always forget to leave, to put on my list when I'm doing pros and cons of e-reading. I'm a big fan. I'm bullish on all the pros. One of the cons is that your reading is not private, no matter what you do, no matter what airplane mode or not. It is not private. So Amazon at least knows what you're reading, and they know if you've read the whole thing, much less you've read the whole thing in a single sitting. So I, was, I knew the algorithm would pay attention. I was hoping that's what it would do, but it didn't. <laughs> Instead, it recommended another gay romance about skating. <laughs> it didn't go to giving me more information about speed skating. Instead, it recommended me this thing. Kira Andrews, The Next Competitor. Uh, <laughs> this, is, uh, this is about, again, an Olympic hopeful. Uh, this time in figure skating. His name is Alex, and he's only 20. So he's only a year older than the main character in The Greatest of All Time. He's still very much a boy in a lot of ways. He's shapely and gorgeous and dedicated. He is totally consumed in his sport. Uh, you get a little bit more inside look into, into figure skating than, you, than I did into, into speed skating last time. Uh, and Alex is completely consumed with what he's doing. He is a complete sports professional. And I hate to burst the bubble of all the sports romance novels that are out there, but I've known a lot of those professionals, and they are as close to asexual as you can get. They don't think about it. They literally don't think about anything but their sport. At all. Ever. They are the most boring human beings this side of drug addicts. Uh, they literally never think about anything else. At all. Uh, and boy, oh boy, <laughs> at the beginning of this book, Alex certainly is that. I... I Remember in the well, you don't remember because why would you read it? Why would you pay attention to this video? But in the greatest of all time, the main character there, uh, Jason, we are given all the trappings of why he is dislikable. Peremptory to his employees, disconnected from the world, sold on his own celebrity, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But we don't dislike him, even though we're given all of those things. We don't dislike him. He there's an era, an element of vulnerability in him. There's an element of cluelessness in him. He doesn't, after all, know his own nature, and we as readers do know his nature. Uh, here, the author clearly wants us to feel like we like Alex, despite all of his a-hole qualities, but I did not <laughs> at all. <laughs> not in the slightest. It was the reverse, the reverse effect of the last book that I read for Summer of Sport, where to me, Alex not only struck me as the sum of all his negative parts, uh, but he never struck me otherwise, which is a big flaw for the book. He meets a, a, a gorgeous guy. Matt is a, a, a training pace rabbit in his in his crew, in his on his team. Doesn't think anything of Matt. Likes the way he looks, but doesn't think anything of him at all. And romance blossoms between the two of them. I liked Matt. Matt is a thoroughly human character, but 
I kept expecting, I don't, I don't think I've ever read Kara Andrews before, but I kept expecting that as the novel wore on and we, we see them meet and we, we see them realize that there may be something between the two of them, we see their external challenges, including the Olympics. I was expecting that at the halfway point at the latest in this book, Matt would start to have a humanizing effect on Alex and I would start to like him. And I did not. <laughs> that doesn't ever happen. At the halfway point of the book, I was hoping that Matt would bump into somebody else. <laughs> so, uh, so, so in that sense, the, the next competitor was a failure. I, it was, it was well paced. It's enjoyable to read. I think it was free on Project on, on Kindle Unlimited. In fact, I'm almost certain that I know I didn't pay money for this. So, uh, most of the stuff that the algorithm is rec is recommending is on Kindle Unlimited. I wonder why that is. Amazon must be making money off Kindle Unlimited. Uh, but uh, I, I liked that. I liked the pacing. I liked the world, the curtain that it lifts up to uh, to competitive figure skating. Uh, Lukash has been long gone from BookTube. He was a competitive figure skater at one point in his life. And that was, I got little hints of it here and there, but I had no idea really what it was like. And I have a better idea now. And Matt, the character of Matt Savelli, thinking, realizing that his humdrum life may, there may be a chance to change that if he has the courage to grab onto it, so to speak, no pun intended, uh, was charmingly done. It's just, it was the main character here that I just, <laughs> I just, uh, I never warmed to him, I guess. Is the, with Alex, I never warmed to Alex Grady. So, so in that sense, you know, since I read these books for emotional enjoyment, for emotional engagement only, this isn't, this isn't like, just like the greatest of all time. This is not Nabokov. This is not Tolstoy at all. So you're not reading this for any other reason than just emotionally plugging into the storyline. Nothing wrong with that, but it was hard to do when the main character is not anyone I wanted to be emotionally plugged into. <laughs> <laughs> to, to sink that turn of phrase right into the ground. Uh, so, uh, clearly, exigent uh, measures are called for tonight. Because I know what's going to happen with the algorithm. I know what it's going to suggest next. If it's two in a row, it's going to suggest a little more of the gaze. It's going to suggest... Uh, I had speed skating last time, figure skating this time. Surely a gay hockey romance will be next. And I started off summer sport with gay hockey romance so i might i might have to do a wrenching maneuver <laughs> to get like i did the first time to get this back on track to break the algorithm uh i'll see i'll take a look at what the algorithm suggests and then maybe i'll go afield maybe i'll go hunting maybe i'll do a reread of uh, a sports book that i haven't read in a long time maybe i'll do that the world's my oyster so i'll i wanted to give you a, a heads up about this thing uh and I don't know, warn you off seems wrong, because some of you might enjoy it. Maybe you don't want to love the main character, or maybe you do love the main character, and maybe I'm just not getting it. Uh, but I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it enough, but I think two gay skating romances in a row is probably my limit. Uh, so I'll, I'll wrap this up for now. We'll see what I encounter tonight. <laughs> Thank you, BookTube.